Leslie Mickshaw, Ted Winter, Natalie McAdams, and John Murdoch. Good evening, Council. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm Ingrid Muller, a 23-year resident in North East <coughs> Venice. Uh, I've been extremely busy with a, a radical affordable housing um, situation in my community. And we were really, really, really radical. And we won. And I'd like you to be radical because the noise in my particular part of town of Los Angeles has been excruciating. Um, I'm getting older and older and grayer and liking it, actually. <laughs> but the noise should get to the point that it becomes tolerable or is eliminated. And we felt we were in paradise those few days when there was nothing happening out of SMO, but close it down, please, for the sake of Thank humanity. You. And Earth is already Thank saturated. You. Thank you for your comments. Leslie McShaw. And get your full time. <laughs> Uh, good evening, Mayor and Council Members. Uh, I'd like just to talk briefly about some of the alternative land uses that uh, may be in the offering at uh, SMO, whether they are at the existing non-aviation parcel where we have uh, more immediate options or at the aviation parcels where, you know, depending on the outcome of various legal strategies and negotiations with the FDA, we may or may not have land available to us. Uh, most of the dialogue thus far is, is set around the possibility of two different uh, options, one of which is park space, open space of one sort or the other, um, which is lovely but expensive. And the city manager will tell you there's not very much money around right now. And so that presents one set of challenges. The other is around developing that land. Um, and of course, housing would be desirable there, but no matter how we develop, we're going to generate traffic in a part of town which is already heavily congested. I'd like to su suggest to you that there's a third option um, which furthers the city's sustainability goals, and that's putting in a solar farm putting in PV panels to generate renewable energy. Um, just as an example, I took a look at that. Of those two aviation parcels, the one that was deeded to the city by Quinclay in uh, 1949, as opposed to the one that was conveyed to us by an instrument of transfer where we have fewer rights. Arguably, we have some rights over that land. That's about 18.6 acres of land. If you put in solar panels on that, you could generate just under 10 million kilowatts of electricity annually. Um, you would create a buffer zone between the airport and the residents. You would shorten the runway and restrict flight operations. You'd be reducing the city's carbon footprint. You'd arguably be putting federal aviation policy against federal energy policy, which might be pretty interesting dialogue at Capitol Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know, we'd be doing the right thing. Solar panels don't generate traffic. They don't make noise. They're good neighbors. Uh, so mm -hmm. I hope that during phase three, that some <coughs> excuse me something that uh, you encourage staff to look at. 